Hi guys, this is May and welcome back to Jelly Beans Plants. And for today's video guys, um, this is just an impromptu video because as you can see behind me are my flowers. These flowers are in my from my garden and as you can see there are fresh cuts and I already um, place or put them in the water, you know, for them to dehydrate and this is really an impromptu guys because um, today is my mom's birthday and I want to surprise her, you know, make her a flower bouquet and this is my first time to make a flower bouquet for my mom and I hope um, my mo mom, if you're watching this um, video, I hope you like <laughs> my simple flower bouquet for you and I wish you a happy birthday. Um, good health and more birthdays to come. Anyway, guys, um, uh, this flower arrangement or flower bouquet that I'm going to make is just a very simple one. And I think most of the um, things that I use here are DIYs and I only got it like this paper, for example, this paper. Um, as you can see, it's a rugged D actually. Apologies, mom, but this is the only paper I have, guys. Um, it is like a Chinese paper. Uh, this is very thin, um, rough, guys. Eh? <laughs> um, I also use this paper, or this is a solid bar, guys. <laughs> this is the only video that I... <laughs> You know, like making a flower bouquet out from calendar, but I will. I want to use this as a first layer on my flower bouquet, guys. So I will use the back, not in front. But I hope my mom can't, can't notice. But I'm sure she will. But it doesn't matter. I I just want to make a simple flower bouquet for her. So I have here my scissors and my tape. And my little ribbons and ties um, that I scavenger here in, you know, in the bodega. So, I will do it right now, guys. <laughs> Wish me luck. <laughs> I wish I could do it nicely. So, let me start. I will, I will um, make this lower so you can see the process. So the flowers that I'm going to use guys, as usual, my zinnias because they last long guys on the vase. Um, I'm not sure the flower bouquets but I'm sure these zinnias will last long guys for at least 6 days or so. And I also have here the basil or basil basil and it's this one guys remember we grown this from seed. Um, I had a video of it, but this one is flowering and I will include this one as a filler. I'm very excited. So I have two. And I have here Cosmos. I only have one Cosmos. This one. Um, this is like a light pink Cosmos. Yeah, this one. And more zinnias here that are fuchsia pink and color to a lighter pink. And this... Zinnia is my dark purple purple zinnia guys that we sewn together. So I'm gonna include this one on my flower bouquet right now or today. And this um two pink one here, the small one. I guess this is this is the right one. Yeah, this one as well is the Cinderella mix. And I think I will not go, I will not gonna grow this one on my I know next planting because I don't know it's pretty but I don't really like it to be honest so I'm still gonna include it on my flower arrangement and this one also the other um um zinnia that we sewn together this color so yep this one the petals as you can see is different from this one but they're both gorgeous. And yeah, pink and um, light pink and fuchsia pink. And I have here, um, this one is more on the um, buttercream yellow, as you can see. And this zinnia here, this one on front, is more on a cream color. So I'm gonna include that one. Actually, that would be my um. 
you know, like center of attraction. <laughs> I think so. Um, no, not my focal attention here or my um centerpiece would be these rose mini rose guys if you watch my video this morning i included this one in the garden tour and i cut it because today is a very special day it's my mom's birthday so it's for her so i'm gonna make it as the focal point of my bouquet so as you can see it has more buds flower buds and the flower of this one it's actually um, a blush pink or light pink but if, if you notice most of the new blo blooms here are in the white side yeah and this one is a bit um, pink but you can't really see through the pink guys but it's all right I'm, go I'm going to you know make it um, make make it like a cute um, flower bouquet so cute simple flower bouquet for my mom so let's start right now guys without further chit chat chit chat um let's start with this calendar paper but i want you to see yeah that so you can really see better so this one what i'm going to do <laughs> i have this light for you to see better guys for better view <laughs> never mind forget it um yeah i'm gonna fold this one so i can see four pics oh my gosh wait i need to you know because it's wet so i need to wipe the table so i guess it's all right so now let me start with this um, calendar paper fold this one into this one and I'm gonna cut it in the center so even straight First attempt on my flower bouquet. <laughs> so let me choose the flower. Let me start on this one. Oh my gosh. So this. Let me remove the bottom leaves. It's still wet though. This is my first attempt guys. So don't judge me huh. I need to remove the thorns it's quite thorny roses are so there are many thorns in here Are there so there's none anymore. So this one. And then what we do um next is let's see this one. They're in the same size height. Yeah, I like that. I want to use the I like the um cream colors in your dough. This is my favorite. Out of all the zinnias. Oh, where's the yellow? Oh, this one. This yellow one. Oh my gosh, this is my first attempt, you guys. So, <laughs> wish me luck. I need to hold tight. So that it won't like... Should be like oh, never mind. It will it will do its thing. <laughs> Let's find more. Oh, I 
professional hug, guys. I don't know what I'm doing, but let's do it. Some of the stem are not that straight, though. Oh my gosh, the rose is not really the centerpiece, you know. I know, I know, I should, um, you know, like, <laughs> I mean, the water is spilling, but I will wipe that one in a bit. See that? You think it's forming now, guys? You know what? You think it's alright? I need to lower this. sure what I'm doing but I think it's you know it looks nice right I don't know it's alright I guess oh this one damage I cut it I want to put all of these, you guys. Because why not? <laughs> Attempting to make a flower bouquet without any experience. <laughs> <laughs> very silent <laughs> sorry guys i'm just focusing on making this one nice i want to put something at the back uh. i think it's all right it's looking pretty. I don't think so. You judge, guys. what I'm really doing but I'm gonna put this dark purple zinnia though here the center I think would it look nice yeah it's pretty yay <laughs> see that I'm gonna put this to these two yeah it's there no I think one is enough yeah and you at the back or somewhere
seat it. I hope. I hope it's forming a bouquet. <laughs> I don't know. It's really like oh. I'm not a pro, guys, ha? Huh? My gosh. I hope my mom would like this. Mom, like this, please. <laughs> Let's put all of this, guys. It's really difficult to hold on one hand. If you notice, like, more pink on the side and white and yellow mix. I'm not really talking you through guys but Kinda of difficult though. <laughs> no, she's damaged. You think I will add this one? Not quite much. But these cosmos definitely will put you at the back. They match with the minerals. Oh, that's pretty. See? Oh, that's cute. I'm loving it now, even if it's just very simple. So, where am I gonna put the basil? Maybe here? Wait. So, this is what it looks right now. And gonna put the basil here. On this side. That. And the other basil on this side. So it like looks like an ears. Two ears on both sides. I already dropped damage tree flowers, but let's put more pinks. Oh my gosh, why is damaging you? Maybe because I harvested some that are still tender. So I think it's, I'm done now with the choosing the flowers. This is it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie this one. It's already eight minutes. <laughs> I'm gonna tie this one. This one is the um this I got from the mask guys. So I'm going to use this one as my tie. Because it will stretch.
<laughs> so, I already tied it. Uh, so, 360 view, I mean, uh, I don't know, first attempt for a flower arrangement, I'm not sure if I did it nicely, but, yeah, I think it's forming. <laughs> What I love is this guy. I like the dark purple zinnia doll and then this cosmos. It really complements with this mini rose. See that? It's really pretty and I love this color as well. And then with the other one, this white one too. See? They're really pretty. Oh my gosh. So, let's use this. And, yeah, I managed to make it as a bouquet. <laughs> so let's tie this. I have this little ribbon. So, for me to secure. Please cooperate. So, yeah. And let me use a tape to tape this in front. Cute. Yay. So messy right now, but yeah, let's fix it in a bit. So, oh my gosh, I did this for you, mom. I love it. I actually love this um, on paper though. Oh my gosh, I really like it. So, yeah, I guess that's it for today's video and I hope you like it guys even if it, I take so long to make this but I think it's worth it. I like it. It's really pretty though with all the blush pink and you know this white um, zinnia and the dark pink and with this paper around it. It's looking really beautiful. I love it. So that's it for today's video guys and I hope you like this video and if you do, please um, give this video a thumbs up and if you want more updates and you know garden tours and garden videos, um, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you will be notified for more updates or more videos here in my channel. So bye bye! See ya! Mwah.